welcome to the press conference for the 20th anniversary of Hot Docs, which runs April 25th to May 5th. I get to tell you about our opening night film. It's Canadian, it's a world premiere, it's directed by a first-time filmmaker slash strip club manager. It's called The Manor. The Manor is a deeply personal film because it's about my family. 30 years ago, my father bought a strip club, and the implications of that purchase have had a profound effect on myself and everyone close to me. As a special thank you to the incredible loyalty and dedication of our audiences, we'll be hosting a free outdoor screening on the fields of University of Toronto with the international premiere of director Ruben Atlas's Brothers Hypnotic. It's a bombastic and soulful portrait of the incredible brothers and musicians who form up Chicago's renowned hypnotic brass ensemble. Gael Garcia Bernal crosses the Mexican border illegally in Mark Silver's beautiful investigation of those who go missing taking that dangerous journey. And Sebastian Younger's portrait of Tim Hetherington, which as those of us who knew him know that he was not only a talented artist but also a beloved humanitarian. And Pussy Riot, a punk prayer, a fascinating all-access pass to these now world-renowned women before, during and after the headline-grabbing events of last year. In the international spectrum, we have 16 films from around the world, from The Last Black Sea Pirates hunting for a 20-year-old bounty, to Matt Wolf's beautiful look at the history of the teenager, to Western China and those working in asbestos mines in the beautiful cloudy mountains. This year you'll see many new and different experiences, and the first I'd like to highlight is an unmissable live performance by this year's Focus On recipient, Peter Mettler. Peter will be bringing his skill of crafting imagery with a live musical performance for a must-see event at the festival. We're particularly delighted to host 22 Canadian world premieres at the festival this year. In a modern moral and medical drama, Tales from the Organ Trade takes us across the globe, casting a light on the buyers, sellers, and surgeons in this growing illegal economy. And embedded with North Korean refugees as they risk their lives escaping their homeland, director An Shin captures their search for freedom in The Defector. And the 2011 Occupy movement gets a background check in the aptly titled Occupy the Movie, an investigative and balanced look at the social movement that took on Wall Street. There's a highly anticipated Ghost in Our Machine by Liz Marshall, poetically and engagingly raises ethical issues about the sentience and the treatment of animals on our shrinking planet. Emmy Award-winning director John Kastner's world premiere of NCR Not Criminally Responsible takes a complex and compassionate look at the mentally ill who commit crimes. This year is the 20th anniversary of Hot Docs. Um, we really feel that the reason that we're here 20 years later is because of our audience. So we have a lot of events to give back to them this year, from a live outdoor screening to many speakers' events. There are going to be more people at the festival for audiences to connect with than ever. We also have amazing retrospectives, old films we're bringing back so that they can see them on the big screen, and an amazing theme series which looks at the future innovation and forward thinking.